Well, we're halfway through the year and I decided to talk about the 10 fragrances that I picked up this year that I got um, and my favorites, my the, the favorite 10. What? Yeah, the 10 fav that's that's the name of the video in it. The 10 my 10 favorite pick year pick I'm sorry. I'm 10, 10 I'm I'm top 10 out. My here are my top 10. Am I having a stroke? Here are my top 10 um favorite pickups from this year our lord 2021. Full disclosure, four of them I was actually given for free after testing and I specifically asked for them. I no longer accept non-solicited fragrances. So any company that just randomly emails me and says, George, do you wanna, do you wanna try this? Do you wanna try that? I, no, I'm not interested. I'll, what I will do is I will now approach fragrance companies after I've bought either a sampling kit or tested it uh, by chance, and then I will specifically ask them. And I will tell you each and every fragrance that I got essentially for free. Number 10 is actually one that I did get for free which, oh, sorry, Josh, mate. Um, I do like this one, but I preferred it when I was sampling it. Uh, this is Sun Drunk, and it reminded me a little bit of um, Angel Men Ultra Zest. And as it dries down, it is like Angel Men Ultra Zest, but it, it takes its time to get there, and there's this very, very intense opening that lasts for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's, um, that's just a bit much, you know, um, very, very bitter and, and citrusy. If you can get through that, then there is this um, very, very uh, warm, congenial, uh, vanilla, orange uh, thing that's going on. And that's lovely and that's wonderful. And I'm happy to power through it. But that opening has put me off and that opening has kind of mm, made me uh, a little bit more reluctant to wear it. But it is what it is. And Josh Meyer does what he wants to do. But uh, yeah, this is uh, my, my 10 favorite. If I'm honest, the fact that I've actually bought ten, more than 10 fragrances uh, in the first half of this year is, is uh, it, was, it was a bit nerve-wracking to, to sort of swallow that and to realize that that's actually a thing that I've done. So number nine is this. This is uh, Strong With You, absolutely. Very mixed response, understandably, right? When I first sprayed this on, and this was a little bit late, I actually got this in mid-May, and so maybe not the right time to be testing this out. But when I got this, I sprayed it on and I went, what a waste of time. It's strong with you intensely. There is no difference. But then you wait five minutes and then suddenly it becomes like the strong with you DNA. But there's like hints of by the fireplace by Maison Margiela's replica collection and um, Armani Code Profumo. And it's like those things congealing into one thing and it works. It does work, it gets away with it, but I think that for some people, they may have found that to be a bit of a cop-out. Oh, it's this again, you know, and I, I feel that, and I do probably prefer intensely, but I do like this in theory, and I like that um, aroma chemical that seems to be very popular now that is used in things like By the Fireplace and the Profumo Armani Code, that, that, that wood, warm wood on fire, but there's also like vanilla and amber going on. I don't know what specifically it is that creates that, but that's very popular right now, a very popular record, and I'm down with that and I'm fine. And that, along with the Strong With You DNA, that's nice, that's pleasant. So I do enjoy it. I'm gonna wait until the colder months to properly de delve into it and review it. But so far, so good. Uh, number eight, I don't know if you've heard of this. Have you ever heard of this one? This is a bit mad. This is, um, this is Sun Man, I'm gonna have to check. Jill Sander, Sun Man. I bought this because I thought it would be an Ultra Zest clone. I thought it would be kind of like in the same realm as a Sun Drunk. And so I got it and I thought, because uh, I thought That's, that, that looks ridiculous. And I was just on a little bit of a buying spree and it was like, I don't know, like 12 quid. And I bought it and then I sprayed it and I thought that smells nothing like Ultra Zest. I do further research on it. This came out in the 90s. This is a classic, apparently. Some people, this is a real bona fide classic. And I'd never heard of it. Um, and if you've heard of it, then absolutely fair enough. You can tell that it's, you can tell that it's of that era because there is a CK1 vibe, right? It's of that time, it's of that fragrance. Pretty bloody decent, actually. It doesn't feel as though it's been reformulated. It doesn't feel as though it's stripped too much. Of course, if you've, worn this fragrance in the 90s, please, 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 you know, uh, let me know if I'm wrong. But it's pretty decent projection-wise. I'd say it actually 
is quite stronger than CK1 or the current version of CK1. Again, I got this in April, so I presume that this is the latest version of it um, or whatever. But I do feel that this is stronger than CK1. It's kind of like CK1 in the way that it's got that calming sort of tea-like smell. Um, very, very fluffy, very, very aerated, um, quite herbal. It's something that you've definitely smelt before, but it's just done very well and, and very, very pleasant. And at first I was a little bit disappointed because it wasn't the ultra zest thing that I thought it was gonna be, but I've grown to really enjoy it. It's very synthetic, of course, it's only like 12 quid. Um, so you have to work your way around that. But if you accept it for that and you know what you're getting yourself into, this is quite a nice nostalgic blast from the past. This, wow, I mean, uh, Dunhill Century. Nobody talks about this. I mean, I remember it coming out and people were like, oh no, Dunhill have done something else, I guess. This didn't get any of the hype that Icon got. And I'm trying, like at first I did not understand why. I didn't get, because I thought this is bloody brilliant. This is wonderful. And it's very green and in a way similar, uh, has a, a very therapeutic kind of tea smell. But then I realized, well, it's not the cleanest smelling thing stereotypically like a stereotypical clean lemon lime wash kind of scent or like light blue with linens and everything and it's not particularly sweet and in the designer market those two things are usually paramount clean and sweetness that's what everybody goes for that's what everybody likes this doesn't really have that as much it's it's very green it's almost leafy um has a bit of herbal uh, element to it and it it's a little bit scratchy as well, especially the opening. There's a bit of a bitterness to it. Um, yeah, I'd love to go a little bit more in depth with this, but I've really enjoyed this. I enjoyed this since the very first time that I smelt it and I always wanted to get it. And uh, this was the year and I was stunned by the price. That's when I knew something was wrong because I think I got this for about 26 quid uh, on All Beauty or something like that. And I thought, and this is like a 75 mil and I thought, oh, that's, that's pretty low you know, for what this was and for a Dunhill fragrance. But yes, the hype on this has not been very high and I kind of get it more now, but I think that this is a, a great designer fragrance. Next one, I did get this for free. It's a print fragrance, of course, um, and I requested it specifically after he sent me a sample pack. In fact, I think you could see me smelling this live on a live stream that I did. So it's basically Hugo Boss bottled on steroids and with like a life purpose. In fact, I'll tell you this, um, Boss Bottled is like the, um, he works at the office, right? He works and, you know, he's very good and he catches the train and he knows what he's doing and he reads his newspaper and he's, you know, he's a very, very um, reliable kind of office worker. This guy's the CEO. This is the guy who runs the office that Boss Bottled works in. So this has Apple, of course, Boss Bottled, but it also has honey and the honey thickens it. The honey makes it louder. It makes it more... Uh, confident, a little bit more dominant, a little bit dom more domineering. And yeah, that apple and honey and that sort of syrupiness that's within this gives it a very, very strong and very powerful vibe. Now it has incense, cocoa powder and suede, and that keeps it from being over the top with the sweetness, especially the suede. The suede and the honey, he named the fragrance, come get your suede honey baby. That's like his in thing at the moment, suede and honey. So, that is essentially his wheelhouse at the moment, but adding that apple gives it that boss bottled vibe. And uh, it's, it's brilliant, really, really enjoyed it. Can't wait to wear this more in the colder weather. Next one, I certainly did pay for this. Anybody can pay for this, Bell Dasserini Ultimate. Great, hey, I'll tell you something a bit scary. This is a bit of a spoiler, actually, for an upcoming video. A sample, right, listen, come here. I'm telling you this because we're friends. You understand? Okay. You know Creed Viking? You know that new Creed Viking cologne? I'm not even... No, I'm not shitting you. I put that on. I put the Creed Viking cologne on. I was like... Mate, that's Baldassarini Ultimate. And, what's even worse... What's even worse? This is stronger. Honestly, did like a test. Did this on that lot, and then Viking Cologne. This is like way stronger than that. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's another like 25 minute video I'm gonna be doing on the beach, isn't it? Right, so, um, <laughs> moving on. 
Kana, Kana, Bobo. I don't know if I got this early this year or late last year. My mind's a bit fuzzy with this, but I remember that bought, bought it essentially around about that time. Um, so but I just put, put this in here anyway. I really like this because it reminds me of holidays. It reminds me of, um, it's very Mediterranean, quite floral, has like a little bit of this kind of false vanilla thing that I've got going on. It is feminine. Some people have complained about that. They've said, George, we know what you're saying, but it's a little bit too feminine. So unisex fragrance and for the female viewers who are watching, um, this could be great for you as well. If you kind of like the idea of, you know, some of my tastes and especially with, you know, vanilla and, and sweetness and things like that. Um, but you just want something that's more feminine then this could absolutely work. This next one, again, it's a print, so I, I didn't, I, I requested it. Um, wow, I, I spoke about this very highly on the summer list. And this is a 1970s kind of fragrance, very uh, stereotypical, like Paco Rabanne, Pour On, Kuros, Yves Saint Laurent. It's got that kind of, you know, that powdery element that was in those fragrances, this kind of lavish, um, masculine kind of powderiness that was in that. It's got that, but then it's got a very, very modern citrus element to it as well. And it has got this fizz. I do like the soda name because there's this kind of like very ethereal citrusy fizz. Bloody brilliant. Very, very good. He's a very, very talented guy is that guy. Prin, wonderfully talented. Can't take a compliment though. Honestly, I tell him all the time, I'm like, dude, you're a genius. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Number two, my second uh, favorite purchase of this year is this thing again. Um, and it's just the wearability of it is just absolutely insane. Sunset Riot, All, Sa all Saints. Against all these other fragrances, but it's just like, it's just hit the spot for me as this. It really, really has. Kind of like a Baccarat Rouge 540 clone. I mentioned it in yesterday's video. Kind of like that. But you strip away the overly sweet, the overt sweetness. You sort of make it a little bit more straightforward, but you take the best bits and then you get this black pepper. And somebody even said on Fragranska, this is like Baccarat Rouge 540 and Herod put together. Now that's not quite true, but it's got the black pepper, kind of like that really perfected and well done black pepper that you can get in Herod, which makes it spicy but sweet and you put it into this very, very streamlined and ultra wearable and sort of um, kind of highlighted version of Baccarat Rouge 540. And there's a bit of powderiness, there's a bit of sweetness, and because this isn't too cloying and the projection longevity aren't too immense, you can wear this in hotter weather as well. So there's a lot going on and it's really cheap, really, really good price. And again, for the price, the quality is quite immense. So it's kind of blown me away and I've really, really enjoyed wearing it. And this has truly probably been the set, my second favorite purchase um, of this year. Finally, number one, let me just have a bit of this tea. Well, if you saw yesterday's video, you know what this is gonna be, don't you? I did get this for free, bought a sample pack and there was some I really didn't like from this house. There were, two or three that I was like, okay, I could investigate that more. But this one, when I smelt it, I was like, oh my God, that's that's brilliant. I spoke about it yesterday uh, in the, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll link it somewhere. <sighs> I asked if I could swear last time, I'm gonna ask if I can swear again. Um, shit hot, just brilliant, just, you know, just like everything I'd want, everything I'd want from where I am in my fragrance journey right now. I'm gonna do like a super cinematic review of this, but in general, not for everybody by the way, not for everybody, you've gotta realize I'm sort of at a level where it takes something pretty serious for me to go, oh wow, that's like quite stunning. So if you're like a beginner, I'm not trying to be condescending or anything like that, but if you're a beginner, this, this might not work for you. This might not. Um, if it doesn't, no problem. You know, there are some fragrances that people go mental at me and say, oh, George, you gotta try this, you gotta try this. And I try it and I go, eh, I don't really get it. I love the smell of gardens, flowers. Um, great memories with that. You know, I grew up in the countryside. Um, our garden would be filled to the brim with flowers. So I do have a kind of a, a soft spot for that. And then you get like real spices, 
Um, you get some really solid aromatics in there. You make it very, very rich and you make the oil content very high, which the oil content on this is very high. It can stain um, white clothing. And um, you make it uh, quite balsamic in that way. It's almost kind of humid, the texture, and you've got a masterpiece, truly. And I don't use that word um, as much anymore on this channel. Um, this is a masterpiece and just blown away by it. Anyway, that's my list. Hope that you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. I will be back um, probably the final two weeks of July and I'll be back properly. I'll be back full time. Thanks very much. Uh, I'll see you in mid-July. I'm the Fragrance of Rays. Cheers. Bye.